On day one, I spawn in as a tiny mantis in a sanctuary full of other insects. Whoa, I have blades for hands. I only had three hearts since I was still small, but I was super agile and my blades could cut through anything. I raced through the sanctuary when in my haste, I collided with a massive beetle. Oh, you little. The beetle started approaching me with intent to harm, but I stood my ground. I'm not scared of you. Surprisingly, the beetle stopped in its tracks. You're Rantis. I didn't mean to. Without another word, the beetle scurried away in a panic. Uh, I didn't think I was that scary. But just then, I turned to see my dad standing right behind me. <sighs> Cilio, what have I told you about running around recklessly? To not to. And with those avians lurking around every corner, you need to be more careful, Cilio. What do you mean? Hmm, maybe it's time you started your training. Yes, tomorrow we will begin. On day two, my dad woke me up at the crack of dawn. Ugh, don't you have a snooze button? It's time to start your training. Here, I made you a gift. Dad gave me a set of wooden tools he had crafted. You are going to need those for where we're going. He led me towards the outskirts of the sanctuary. There's something you should know, son. Centuries ago, insects were hunted by the avians. To protect ourselves, our great ancestors invented a martial art, unlocking mystical powers that only the most skilled insect warriors could wield. Yeah! Using these powers, they created a sanctuary for the insects to seek refuge in, and we have lived here in harmony ever since. Lost in a story, I didn't realize we had reached a force field at the edge of the sanctuary. But now that you're old enough, it's time for you to learn too. Without warning, Dad pushed me out of the force field. I found myself out in the open, surrounded by wilderness. Just then, I heard a rustling sound coming from one of the bushes, and before I knew it, a huge bird lunged at me. I tried using my wooden sword to fend off the beast, but it was useless. This is bad! I fought helplessly trying my best to stay alive. The bird charged up a powerful blow, when in a split second, a powerful blast obliterated the bird. It was my dad. I'm so sorry, dad. Believe it or not, I expected you to do far worse on your first try. You showed some real potential. Tomorrow, I will take you to Grandmaster Shell Strike. He'll train you to become the next Mantis Warrior. As he said this, a deafening blast echoed from the sanctuary. That can't be anything good. Hurry up, Silio. On day three, we made it back to the sanctuary to find it in complete chaos. No, it can't be. Just then, an ominous shadow swept over us. I looked up to see a massive falcon descending. I am the mighty falcon, ruler of the avian. Uh, who? The falcon. You know, the talent of vengeance, the flying conqueror. My name has struck fear into the hearts of countless foes. Never heard of you. Silence! You wish to challenge me? Bring it, bird! Without hesitation, my dad sent an extremely powerful blast right at the falcon. But to our horror, he absorbed the attack, completely unfazed. <laughs> How did you... <laughs> you are indeed a true warrior. You've trained your whole life for this. But while you were sharpening your sword, do you know how I prepared for today? I learned. I studied your ways, your every move, every technique. So I'll give you an offer, one warrior to another. Lord Mantis, do you surrender? I will show you no mercy. Dad charged at the Falcon, but in one swift move, the Falcon sent a devastating wave of air at Dad, launching him into the ground. No, Dad! Silio, find Grandmaster Shell Strike. You're our only hope. I watched helplessly as the Falcon's henchmen dragged Dad away. Now, get the little one. The henchmen charged in my direction, and I had no choice but to run. Uh-oh, this is bad. I was on the run from the Falcon's henchmen on days four through five. The henchmen were right on my tail. They're too fast. I'm not gonna make it. I knew I couldn't outrun them, so I did the only thing I could and lunged into a nearby bush. As a mantis, I was perfectly camouflaged with the foliage. I watched as the henchmen ran right past me. Phew, that was close. Indeed. Ah! Ah, uh, young Mentis, you seem quite agitated. Well, I did just watch my home be destroyed by an evil falcon who's holding my dad hostage. But other than that, I'd say I'm pretty chill. Hmm, that is indeed worrying. I'm looking for a Grandmaster Shell Strike. Do you have any idea where I can find him? Mentis, you must embark on a journey. There are three other insect sanctuaries each guarded by a legendary insect warrior. Whoa! Legendary warriors? Tell me more! In each sanctuary lies a warrior soul hidden in a shrine. Seek out these souls, absorb their strength, 
and prove yourself worthy of your destiny. On day 6 through 9, I set out on my journey to find the first sanctuary. On my travels, I came across a massive peak and decided to set up my base there. I'll be able to see the avians coming from miles away up here. I used the rest of my materials to work on my base, after which I gathered some stone to craft myself a new set of tools. With them, I gathered some more materials and finally finished off my very own dojo. Perfect. Now I just need friends to share this place with. As I finished up, I suddenly felt like something was watching me. Hello? Who's out there? Before I knew it, a huge snake lunged at me from behind a rock. The snake quickly knocked me back with a whip of its tail, when suddenly, I heard a buzzing sound. I turned to see a bee charge up a strong attack and send it right at the snake. Together, we started fighting the snake, and working as a team, it wasn't long until we bested the snake. You were awesome! Thanks for helping me! No problem! As a warrior of the Garden of Nectar, it's my duty to help a fellow insect in need! Garden of Nectar? Are you a legendary warrior from one of the sanctuaries I'm looking for? Call me Buzz! The Garden of Nectar isn't far from here if you'd like to visit! What are we waiting for? Buzz and I made our way to the Garden of Nectar on days 10 through 13, when we noticed smoke billowing in the distance! No! Oh no 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 no! Without a warning, Buzz darted in the direction of the smoke, so I followed! The garden was under attack by an army of avians! Among the them, a colossal bird approached the central tree. That must be the general of the Falcon's army. I have to stop him. I zoomed towards the general with my blades ready to strike. But to my surprise, my attack was completely deflected. And who might you be? I'm the mantis that's gonna take you down. How amusing. Let's get this over with. The owl struck me at the speed of light, dealing loads of damage. I tried evading his attacks, but he was way too fast for me. I had to find a way to turn this battle in my favor. At that moment, I felt a gust of wind blow past me and into the big tree. That's when it hit me. The tree is the warrior's soul shrine. I dashed towards the tree as the owl pursued. Get back here! Suddenly, the giant tree started trembling, revealing a hidden warrior's soul. I felt a strong surge of power coursing through me. And in an instant, I grew to an adult mantis with ten whole hearts! Whoa! My blades grew bigger and stronger. I unleashed a flurry of slashes, staggering the owl. Hmm, how unexpected. I will be back for you, mantis. With those words, the owl disappeared in a cloud of smoke. As the smoke cleared, I saw Buzz approaching me. I've defeated the henchman, but it's too late. The sanctuary is destroyed and it's all my fault. I failed as a sanctuary warrior. Don't say that. We fought our best. We just need to get stronger and fight back. Why don't you join me? Together, we'll be much stronger. Huh. Yeah, I like that. Buzz and I arrived home on days 14 through 19. It was getting a bit cramped in the dojo, so I decided to start working on a house just for Buzz, adding all sorts of elements that I thought he would like. Awesome. It just needs one final touch. There, perfect! With Buzz's house complete, I turned my attention to a new project. I began working on a massive mantis statue. I had just finished building the legs when I ran out of materials. I'll have to continue later on. With the additions complete, I decided to start looking for the next sanctuary. I had traveled for a while when I spotted a distressed fly nearby. Is everything alright? Oh, it's terrible! The birds, they took my mother! I'm so sorry to hear that. I'll help you find her. Just lead the way. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Quickly, my sister could be in danger. Wait, I thought they took your mother. Oh, yes, yes, my sister too. <laughs> I misspoke. I followed the fly as he led me towards the location where he said the birds took his family. Phew, this whole war against the snakes is really something, huh? Snakes? We're fighting against birds. What is going on here? At that moment, a massive warped Moscow emerged from the forest with a group of other flies. Oh no, it's a trap. I did your dirty work, master. Now, where's the food you promised me? Food? Why would I give anything to you? You filth. You will make an excellent servant. Little Mantis. On days 20 through 24, the work Moscow and I were locked in a fierce battle. This Moscow was absolutely ripped, and he bore a huge pro. Each of his blows did devastating damage, and I had to use everything I had to stay on my feet. Despite my efforts, the Moscow was just too strong. Ha <laughs> puny little Mantis. Take this! He landed a powerful slam, knocking me back. I laid on the ground in defeat as the Moscow slowly approached me. You'll spend the rest of your little life serving me, puny insect. Suddenly, I saw the fly from before charging towards the Moscow. I've had enough of your abuse. You won't swarm anyone else. The Moscow was caught off guard as the fly struck hard, stunning him momentarily. This is my chance. With just one slash of my blade, the warped Moscow fell to the ground, defeated. <laughs> 
What have I done? You did the right thing. No one deserves to suffer under his tyranny. But where will we go now? How about you and your friends come back to my base for safety? My friend will welcome you there. That'd be great. Thanks. Uh, Celio, was it? I gave the flies a map back to my base and decided to continue looking for the next sanctuary on my own. I continued my journey on days 25 through 28 until finally I saw a huge mountain ahead of me. At the base of the mountain, I could see a huge cave with something glistening on the inside. I made my way into the cave when I saw what it was. Finally, some iron. I immediately began mining the iron, putting the ore into a furnace. Finally, I used it to craft myself a whole new set of tools and even an iron helmet and a chest plate. I was so busy busy crafting that I didn't notice that the cave entrance had been sealed off by a huge stone door. It was completely pitch black, when suddenly a pair of glowing eyes illuminated the darkness behind me. Uh, hello? I realized that the eyes belonged to a colossal ant, but it was already too late. It lunged forward, beginning to chase me. I ran through the cave maze, trying to avoid the ant at all costs. Ah, I'm not here to hurt you! I turned corner after corner, until finally I saw a faint glow of daylight. Yes! That could be my only hope! As I reached the exit, I suddenly heard a voice. Whoa there, old Betsy. You best calm down now. Sorry, old Betsy can get a little excited about visitors. That's one way to put it. I'm Silio. I'm in search of the hidden warrior soul, sir. The evil falcon is on his way, and I need to stop him. Pinch at your service. Welcome to Ant Hill Peaks. This sanctuary is run by us ants, all in the service of our great queen. Join me for a walk, will ya? Our sanctuary ain't seen danger in centuries, kid. There's no need to fret. If that falcon ever shows his his ugly beak on these grounds, BAM! <laughs> Queen friend! The baby ant handed me a bunch of crops and food as a gift. Why, thank you, little one. Looks like you've already made a friend. Why don't you make yourself at home here? Everybody's welcome. Except birds. We don't like birds. But like I said, our sanctuary is a safe haven, bud. The falcon poses no threat. Pincher was interrupted by a loud boom, followed by complete chaos. Aw, oh, fiddlesticks. I hate to say I told you so. Don't test me, kid. On days 29 through 33, I fought alongside Pincher against the Falcon's army. I fought off the invaders with my blades and used my slashing ability to deal some good damage. As I fought, I watched as everything around me collapsed. Queen friend, please save us. No! The warrior soul has to be here somewhere. It's our only hope. That's when, in the middle of the chaos, I noticed the sanctuary shrine. Dodging enemy attacks, I made my way towards the shrine. As I reached it, I once again began to feel a surge of power within me. That's when the hidden warrior soul was unleashed. I absorbed the warrior soul and grew larger and more formidable. My blades grew even bigger, and I now had 30 whole hearts. Whoa, awesome. In my new form, I rejoined the fight. The avians kept coming, when suddenly, I unleashed a powerful dash, taking them out with ease. Sweet! Looks like I gained a new ability. With my new strength, it wasn't long before all the birds were defeated. Despite my victory, the whole sanctuary was completely ruined. It's all my fault, so I reckon we were safe here. I failed as a sanctuary warrior. Pincher, this is not your fault. You couldn't have known. I have no purpose anymore. What's an ant to do with no queen? Why don't you join me? Together, we'll make sure the falcon pays for what he's done. Huh. I accept. On days 34 through 38, I returned home when I noticed a familiar snail waiting by a pond. Ah, I see you have already found two warrior souls. Yeah. Why are you troubled, young mantis? <sighs> All the sanctuaries I've been to have been completely destroyed. I keep failing at everything I do. Indeed. And at this rate, the Falcon will totally destroy me. Totally. Ugh, I'll never be the Mantis Warrior. Come, my friend. Look into the water. I did as he said, when suddenly, I felt dizzy. Why are you doing this now, Falcon? What do you hope to gain? <laughs> and here I thought you were smart. It's the circle of life, my friend. Birds hunt insects, it's nature's way. But this time, I seek more than just a deal. Lord Mantis, be wise. Your kind doesn't have to suffer. Together, we can ensure their survival. <laughs> I'd never join filth like you. <laughs> you will regret that! Well, isn't this interesting? I can sense you, little Mantis. Where are you? What? How can he- Mark my words, Mantis. If you stand in my way, I will make sure you suffer a fate worse than your father. Just then, the falcon lunged at me, and I snapped back to reality. I- 
I have to stop him. I turned to find the snail gun without a trace. Huh. What an odd guy. I started days 39 through 43 off by building Pincher his very own house. I put together a cozy den, using blocks that would remind him of his home. I also added tiny chambers and tunnels. I think he'll feel right at home here. Well, I'll be silly, yo. You've outdone yourself on this one. Here, let me reward you with a little something. It'll take you straight down to our secret underground map maze. I reckon you'll rustle up something mighty fine down there. Following the map's instructions, I descended into the hidden depths of the end maze. I navigated the massive labyrinth, when I finally stumbled upon a massive deposit of diamonds. I mined as much as I could carry, and used them to craft myself a whole new set of diamond tools and armor. I then made it back to the surface, when I ran into a horde of sheep, which gave me an idea. You're coming with me! I led the sheep back to our base, and began constructing a pen for them. Once that was finished, I shared their wool and combined them with green dye to continue working on my manta statue. I was able to finish up the entire torso before the sun had started to set, and it was getting dark. I'll get back to you later. Don't go anywhere. On days 44 through 49, I woke up in the middle of the night to a suspicious sound coming from outside. I stepped outside looking for the source of the sound. That's when I heard it again. Uh, hello? Who's out there? That's when I saw two glowing eyes emerging from the mist. <laughs> Thought you could hide from me, little mantis. You! It's time I put an end to you! Just then, Buzz and Pincher came running to my aid. Cilio, we've got your back. Let's teach this intruder a lesson. Ha <laughs> ha, let's have some fun. In an instant, the owl charged at me. The fight commenced with a flurry of swift strikes, dodges, and parries. We fought valiantly, each blow dealing some good damage to the owl, but his powers were formidable. In one swift move, he trapped Buzz and Pincher, rendering them unable to escape. No! Let them go! Feeling bitter. <laughs> Once again, he vanished in a cloud of smoke. Buzz! Pincher! No! On days 50 through 54, I looked everywhere for my friends. When in the distance, I spotted a war camp. Cautiously, I approached the camp. When I saw Buzz and Pincher locked up in a cage in the center of the camp. Don't worry guys, I'll get you out of there. I realized that the cage was locked and I would need to find a key to release my friends. I looked around when my gaze landed on one of the tents. The key has to be in there, I just know it. I quietly snuck into the tent when I realized it was filled with sleeping avians. Well, here goes nothing. I tiptoed past the sleeping birds, my eyes fixed on the key lying on the other side of the tent. As I reached out to grab the key, I suddenly felt a snap under my foot, breaking a twig. <laughs> Mommy, I, I want some cookies. Phew, too close. I grabbed the key in front of me, when suddenly an alarm blared and the avians all jolted away. Hey, you're not my mummy. The avians lunged at me. Their sheer numbers were overwhelming, and I had to give my all to stay on my feet. Blow after blow, I felt more and more weak. Finally, I was down to one last avian. With one final slash, I took out the remaining enemy. With that, I rushed to unlock the cage where my friends were trapped. Thanks, Cilio. We owe you big time. By the way, we overheard the avians talking about a plan to attack the temple of a hundred legs within the next few days. It's the last remaining sanctuary. We need to hurry. The temple of a hundred legs? Well, what are we waiting for? On days 54 through 57, my friends and I arrived at a village. As we came closer, we noticed the falcon speaking to his men. I've had enough of that pesky mantis' meddling. Locate him and bring him to me. He cannot reach the final warrior's soul. Why don't you come get me yourself? <laughs> you fool. Men, get his allies. But leave the mantis to me. The avians sprang into action, moving towards Buzz and Pincher. They were locked in combat, while the falcon charged right at me. The falcon was strong, his wings slicing at me. I couldn't get in even a single hit, and I realized that he was still far too strong. I had to make my escape. Guys, retreat! Buzz and Pincher did as I said, and ran back towards our base. But before I could follow, the falcon blocked the way. You're not going anywhere. On days 58 through 63, I was on the run from the Falcon. As I ran, the ground beneath me suddenly gave in, causing me to plummet down. I finally hit the ground and found myself in a hidden underground temple. Phew. At least I lost the falcon, but how can I get back up? I looked around and noticed jade samurai statues surrounding the temple, and in the middle, I spotted a scroll. My curiosity got the better of me as I decided to grab the scroll, but just then, the jade statue started moving and slowly began to approach me. Uh, I'm guessing it's too late to put it back. The statues sliced and slashed at me with their swords, dealing a ton of damage. As I fought, I started feeling nauseous, when out of nowhere, I lost a heart. What the? 
what's going on? I had to do my best to keep fighting. And finally, I took down the last statue. By now, I had already lost two hearts. I turned my attention to the scroll in my hand and opened it. It read, if you wish to undo the jade curse, you must find the remaining warrior soul. I also noticed a map attached to the scroll, which seemed to lead to the temple of a hundred legs. I don't know how much longer I have. I better find that sanctuary fast. I followed the map to the temple on day 64 through 67. The curse was starting to worsen, and I even lost another heart on my way. Ugh, sanctuary, where are you? I finally arrived at my destination, and saw the temple of a hundred legs, filled with the falcon's minions. I also noticed cages filled with imprisoned sentinels. To beat. I got to help them out. I snuck towards the cages, hiding behind anything I could find. Once I had the chance, I scurried up to one of the cages and started breaking it open. What are you doing? Go get the warrior soul! I'm not leaving anyone behind. I managed to free the last prisoners, when suddenly, a massive bird brute landed right in front of me. It's Ruder! The bird and I began to fight. His massive talons ripped away at my health, and the curse wasn't doing me any favors. During the battle, I lost yet another heart. Oh no! Is this really how it all ends? I was on the verge of death when out of nowhere the massive bird was hit from behind. It was the sanctuary warrior I had rescued earlier. I've got about a hundred more where that came from. Working together, the bird said no chance. We finally managed to take down the bird brood for good. We are forever in your debt, brave soldier. I am Centurion, guardian of the sanctuary, but you can call me Senti. Don't mention it. Your people aren't safe here though. Why don't you guys head to my base for now? I wish I could assist you in your quest, but you are probably right. Point us in the right direction. I must warn you though, that beast, he's waiting inside the temple. Well then, I better go and say hello. I entered the temple on day 68 through 72. It was completely empty, and the falcon was nowhere to be found. I scanned the surroundings, searching for any trace of the hidden warrior soul. Looking for this? I turned to see the falcon, who was holding the last warrior soul. Before I could react, he threw the last warrior soul right into a pit of lava, forever destroying it. No! It's too late, Mantis. All the sanctuaries have fallen, and without the warrior soul, you are powerless to stop me. Now, I will hunt down every last insect, starting with you! Just then, the owl general landed right in front of me. Haha, <laughs> this will be enjoyable. The owl launched into battle. He was as strong as ever, but using my blades combined with my dash ability, I was able to push back. The owl used a set of wind powers to keep me at bay, but I quickly learned to dodge them and fight back. I dashed around the owl and slashed him with my blades whenever I saw an opening. The fight was intense, but with a final surge of energy, I landed a finishing blow upon the owl, knocking him backwards. My, my lord, he, he's too strong. Pathetic. With a strong slash, the falcon struck his general, killing him. I couldn't believe what had just happened. <laughs> You're next, Mantis. The falcon was hot on my tail on day 73 through 75. The curse was slowly chipping away at my health, so fighting was out of the question. Ouch, I can't keep this up much longer. I ran for my life when suddenly I spotted a small crack I could hide in. I hurried over to it and made it inside a cave. I waited for a while and eventually managed to lose the falcon. I was able to escape with my life, but with the warrior soul destroyed, I didn't know what to do. Ah, young mantis. Ah! Could you stop scaring me like that? The winds of destiny have let you hear. What is it that you seek? The Falcon, he destroyed everything. The sanctuaries, the warrior soul, it's all gone. If you believe the warrior souls are magic, then they are magic. If you believe they are chickens, then they are chickens. Only you have the power to decide what you can and what you cannot do. Huh, I guess you're right. I don't need the warrior souls, but... How will I defeat the Falcon? Nobody said it would be easy. Trust in yourself, Mantis. I understand. By the way, I never caught your name. But before he could respond, the snail disappeared in a flurry of petals. Could that guy get any more mysterious? As he disappeared, I noticed that all my hearts had been recovered, and I was no longer cursed. All right! Thanks, mysterious snail. I won't disappoint you. On days 76 through 78, I returned back home to see the centipedes waiting for me. We are forever grateful for letting us stay here. 
Although, I must confess, it is just a bit cold here without a roof over our heads. No guest of mine is gonna freeze. I began to expand my base even bigger, adding a house just for the centipedes. I built them a large underground den with a hot bubbly pool. Next, I began to expand my own base downwards and made a whole new area for the flies. It was long overdue. I also made sure there were plenty of leftovers for the flies to snack on. Finally, I also added a big staircase all the way down the mountain for easy access to my base. And with that, my expansion was complete. It's perfect. As I walked back inside, a fly suddenly came crashing down. Celio, I have bad news. So I was flying past the sanctuary, and that's when I see your dad. He looked seriously hurt. I don't know how much longer he has. Ugh, I don't have much time. I have to do something. On day 79 through 82, I made my way back to my home sanctuary. It's time to put an end to the falcon's reign. I arrived at the sanctuary and found it completely ruined. Come out and face me, falcon. Just just then, the falcon swooped down in front of me, and with him was my dad. Son, no! He's too powerful! The brave little mantis returned. Whatever will I do now? You will die! I launched into battle, unleashing a series of swift slashes. I used all the skills I had honed throughout my journey, but to my dismay, the falcon countered each move with ease. No! How does he know? You see, little mantis, I've mastered your every move. Your every technique, your insect fighting is so predictable. With one strong swipe, the falcon knocked me back to the edge of the sanctuary. I won't let you win. You're a mere insect, destined to be crushed under my talons. It's time you met your end. Before I could react, the falcon struck me hard, knocking me over the edge. <laughs> On days 83 through 86, I woke up in a forest to see the snail from before patching me up. Ah, you are finally awake. Follow me. The snail led me through the forest as he began to tell me about the falcon. It seems the martial art of the insect has become outdated. The falcon has grown wise to our moves, predicting each technique. I listened closely as we made it into a huge cavern. We have arrived. In front of us was a small house surrounded by water. It is time, young mantis. At that moment, I finally put the pieces together. Grandmaster Shellstrike, it's you! Took you long enough. I followed Grandmaster Shellstrike inside as he began to tell me more. Long ago, the insects honed their skills developing a martial art that could protect the insects from the birds. It worked for the most part until the birds began to learn. That is when the mantises took it upon themselves to forge a new form. A form that uses techniques the other insects deemed dishonorable. Despite this, the mantises were able to fend off the birds, but instead of thanking them, the other insects shunned the mantises away for their form. But it may be the only chance you have against the falcon. If that's what it takes, I'll do it! When does my training start? It already did. On days 87 through 91, I woke up early, excited to start my training. To my dismay, Grandmaster Shellstrike wasn't as excited. Uh, five more? minutes. The falcon doesn't wait. We need to start now. After some convincing, Grandmaster Shellstrike finally took me to a calm meadow nearby. For your first exercise, you must close your eyes and find inner peace. Uh, whatever you say, master. I sat in silence, trying to find inner peace for several hours, but nothing seemed to happen. Master, this is pointless. <laughs> Oh, right. That is probably enough. Next, Grandmaster Shellstrike made me spar him. I don't want to hurt you. You're pretty... Old. The Grandmaster was surprisingly strong, and he moved way faster than any snail I had seen before. He may have been old, but he was a tough opponent. He used several techniques to hit me hard, and I dodged them as well as I could. I retaliated with a series of dashes and slices, but it didn't seem to phase him. Finally, after countless attempts, I managed to pin the Grandmaster. Impressive, young mantis. I spent several days undergoing intense training. The exercises were rigorous, but I could feel that my strength, agility, and speed were improving. Finally, Grandmaster Shellstrike took me to a huge obstacle course. There were elevated platforms with spinning razors and rotating wheels. It seemed extremely dangerous. Are you sure this is a good idea? Only one way to find out. 
just like that, I was thrown into the course. I struggled to get a footing as I was hit and knocked over by moving parts and platforms. Hey, I think I'm getting the hang of... Ouch. I was suspended over lava, jumping from platform to platform. The platforms began to spin faster and faster, and I was starting to get dizzy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I'm gonna be sick. The sun had already started to set as I attempted the course one final time. I predicted all the movements and focused intently, making my way through the course flawlessly. And just like that, I completed it. Yes! You are ready. I followed Grandmaster Shellstrike back to his hut on days 92 through 96. Come, Mantis, follow my movements. He began to move swiftly. I watched closely, trying my best to mirror his motions. As our movements intensified, I felt a surge of power building up within me. The area around us started to glow, energy swirling all around us. Out of nowhere, a thunderstorm formed, and I was struck by lightning. Ouch! Wait, I feel amazing! Just like that, I took on a new form. You have mastered the forbidden form and become the Mantis Warrior. It is time to fulfill your destiny, young Mantis. But at that moment, a swarm of the Falcon soldiers swooped down at us, ready to ambush. Let's see what I can do. I began to fight back against the avians, when I suddenly unleashed a powerful blast ahead. I can do that now? I started leaping around the assailants, using my new ability left and right. Try to keep up. The birds that had been so tough before stood no chance against my newfound powers. Their attempts to predict my every move fell short as I used the forbidden form to strike them down. One by one, the avians fell before me, until finally, they were all defeated. Wow, yeah, I think you are ready. On days 97 through 99, I returned home to find all my friends. They had prepared a huge stack of materials for me as a gift for letting them stay at my base. We can't thank you enough, Cilio. We know you'll put these to great use. Huh, I know exactly what I'll do. Using the materials, I continued to build my mantis statue. I worked on building the blades of the mantis, making the statue look menacing but majestic. Finally, I finished off the statue by building the head. As I laid the final few blocks, I felt incredibly proud. The statue had turned out even better than I'd hoped for. Once the falcon sees this, he'll be shaking like a leaf. After finishing off my statue, Buzz came flying over to me. The gang and I prepared one last surprise for you before your big battle. Follow me. Buzz led me back to the base, where all my friends had set up an outside feast. All right, you're here. I'm starving. Let us share this meal in honor of the great Cilio. Thanks so much, guys. You're the best. The meal helped me take my mind off tomorrow's big fight, and I enjoyed a good time with all the friends I had made along the way. All right, I think I'm ready to face the Falcon. Let's do this. I said goodbye to my friends and made my way towards the sanctuary. Hang in there, Dad. I'm coming for you. On day 100, I arrived at the sanctuary. The place that had once been my home now felt completely abandoned. I wandered through the city, looking for any signs of life, when I finally saw him. Dad! I ran up to him, but the cage he was in seemed to be locked. Having a nice family reunion? I turned around to see the Falcon approaching me. Ready for round two? Just like that, the Falcon charged at me, hitting me with lightning speed. He tried using the same tricks he had before, trying to knock me off the sanctuary edge, but I didn't let him get to me. I used my new skills to deal a couple hard strikes. Looks like you've learned a thing or two. Let's see how you handle this. The Falcon took to the air and began to slice sharp gusts of wind at me. I couldn't reach him from down here. Ugh, I've got to think of something. Thinking on my feet, I used my new abilities to launch myself into the air and hit the Falcon. Even with my new techniques, the Falcon was still overwhelming. My blades barely did him anything, so I switched to using my energy blast where I could. I landed a couple clean hits and managed to get him back on the ground. The fight continued, and I was slowly starting to get an edge. With a sweep of my blade, I landed a powerful dash onto the Falcon. Let's finish this. <laughs> I don't think so. Before I could react, the Falcon summoned a swarm of his soldiers to fight me. Hey, foul play! I started fighting off the soldiers. The fight had worn me down, so the soldiers were a tougher challenge than before. One by one, I took them out until they were all gone. Without hesitation, the Falcon lunged at me again, trying to get an upper hand, but I was ready this time. I dodged and weaved as the Falcon continued his onslaught of aerial attacks. His flying made it hard for me to hit him, but that's when I had an idea. I unleashed a flurry of attacks, aiming it upward. This forced the Falcon to fly higher and higher. Just as I landed, a strong aerial slice, a mighty thunderbolt struck down onto the Falcon as he dropped straight down from the sky. Go ahead, strike me down, but know this. Another avian will rise in my stead. It's the circle of life. 
they can come. I'll only get stronger. With a final swift move, I ended the Falcon's evil reign. I rushed to free my dad, and together, we reclaimed the sanctuary. Insects could live safely together once more. Yes, I did it!